The shortage of workers continues to impact a number of different fields from restaurants to hospitals. So tonight we're going to show you another area being stretched really thin, and that's home health staff. As Victoria Saha shows us, many are being left helpless for days without enough people to serve them. Yeah, for many of us, we can't even imagine relying on someone else for our day-to-day -day needs. But for some, they have absolutely no choice but to pay for at-home health aid. And when that help doesn't come, they're left stranded. The caregiver didn't show up. Teresa Caruso is bedridden because of an extremely rare condition causing her to grow another skeleton. Basically encasing me in a statue of bone. Leaving her to be immobilized and needing constant assistance. So I need to wear diapers 24 hours a day. So I need help changing uh, my diaper. I can't cook for myself. But no one from a home aid agency has been able to help her since December because of the worker shortage, leaving her to endure unimaginable situations. I've been left um, in my diaper for at least 24 hours, up to two days. According to Becky Torres, the owner of Bright Star Care, the gap is being fueled by home aid agencies competing with hospitals, nursing homes, and the Omicron surge. We turn down business all the time now. At her agency, they are at least 60 aides short. We make calls to our families and we say, please understand, and we'll do our best. Doing her best to constantly recruit. I can always train somebody on the skills but I can't train you on having the heart to do it. As for Caruso, she is relying on the help from her mom until a new aide comes in. And despite her difficulties, she still manages to keep a smile on. I'm just full of hope and joy and love, and I just give it away. <laughs> Caruso says her new aid will start February 14th, but even then, it's just going to be for a couple of hours, whereas pre-pandemic, she would have an aid for a full eight hours. If you are interested in becoming an at-home aid, Bright Star says they will train you, but you need to have at least one year of experience. That link will be up on our website at 8newsnow.com. Reporting from the newsroom tonight, Victoria Saha, live, local, now.